Ron Paul posted that video uh, about Jay Leno, the show, Ron Paul. I noticed a lot of people are downgrading it, and uh, I can understand. I mean, I don't even like the way it came out myself, but I want to even get a little more deeper into explaining how I feel about it. You know, I mean, I've supported Ron Paul. I don't know if you realize this, some of, some of the folks that are downgrading my videos, but I've supported him from the beginning. I posted more of Ron Paul videos and promoted this guy for so long. I was there at the very beginning, too, when he first ran. Um, I'm a big Ron Paul guy, you know, so it, it's a tough time for everybody, you know, it's over and we finally seeing it, but I just don't like the way it ended. Um, I feel like Ron Paul got to a certain point based on three things. All right, the three things that Ron Paul had going for him that really worked. Number one was the people, the millions of Ron Paul supporters. Number two was the free media that he got. He just killed it because of number three. When he got that free media, he presented the truth that you don't find anywhere else with any national politician on a consistent basis, well thought out, principled, um, all the way through. So he had those three things going for him, and it seems to me he's going away from those things. He's, he's uh, got a controlled thing going on with a group of advisors that are working and raising money for Rand Paul. Um, even last night when Jay Leno brought up the, you know, would you like to have a billionaire behind you? Ron Paul couldn't really answer yes because the truth is he's already got some rich people behind him. I think everyone already knows Peter Thiel. Um, he's got major people around him and it's about Rand Paul now. Um, it's unfortunate because I would have liked to see Ron Paul continue to do what he did to the end, to the very end. Not to go to this group of advisors to to go on to the the longer term plan that they have for Rand to continue this, but I just don't think it's gonna work. I think he had the formula, he should have stuck to it, he should have gone all the way to the end and campaigned for Gary Johnson, brought his same message to Gary Johnson to make sure that Gary Johnson is a hundred percent the way Ron Paul wants him to be. He should, uh, you know, continue to campaign until November. It's only two months. He, he, Ron Paul is the best voice we have in this liberty movement. And to have him shut out for the next two months during this biggest election ever, I just don't like it, you know. Um, even, if, even if Ron Paul isn't going to endorse Gary Johnson, I hope that he continues to do media consistently for the next two months and weighs in on these other candidates. Because that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that this is the sign that Ron Paul is done. He's basically, Jay Leno was his retirement, you know. That, that was his goodbye to everyone, thank you, bye. And it is, it's very sad, you know. So, that's where I'm coming from. But at the same time, Gary Johnson, 2012, we got that going on. We got Jill Stein, 2012. We have Vermin Supreme 2012, we have Roseanne Barr, we have Buddy Romer. We got a lot of good presidential candidates to vote for and support. And uh, I would like to see Ron Paul part of that because Ron Paul, this is it. This is, this is a big election. It only happens once every four years for president. And uh, our voice has been being heard through Ron Paul. So that's where I am. I know a lot of people downgrade it, but I have to report the news as I see it and, you know, how I feel it's going to come out. The thing that makes me really sad about the whole thing is there are certain issues that Ron Paul really spoke to. The big issues, uh, ending the wars, the Federal Reserve, the, the banking system, the scams, um, also the spending, the reckless spending. Um, you know, big big time against the drug war. The, these are the things that I think and I fear will be missing from the debates because Gary Johnson's probably not going to get in without that kind of real Ron Paul support. He would, Gary Johnson probably could get in these debates if Ron Paul was 100%. If the full weight of the Ron Paul campaign got behind him, then we could actually see something happen this time. And those 
debates would go so much further, you know, with the, 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 the amount of money that it would cost to reach as many people as we could with the free media that Ron Paul generates. That's why it's important. I really hope for the next two months that Ron Paul is speaking out about these issues and about these candidates on where they stand on these issues. I'm Gary Johnson. As a former Republican governor, I endorsed Ron Paul in 2008. While appearing in a nationally televised Republican presidential debate in 2012, I was asked whom I would select as my running mate if elected. I said Dr. Ron Paul without hesitation. His efforts have changed America. They've changed me. The revolution he ignited in the hearts and minds of millions of Americans will not fade away. It grows stronger every day and will continue to grow because Ron Paul is right. Be libertarian with me one time. Together we'll send the unmistakable message Ron Paul's revolution isn't a fluke, it's the future. Live free.